What is the precedent for what happens to a warlock's character levels if the patron dies, let's say my multi-class warlock 3, wizard 17 and his party have just killed his patron, fulfilling a lifelong dream to be free of an ancestral pact with the evil fiend. He has zero interest in becoming sworn and beholden to a new entity. Now, according to this somewhat related question, what happens if the entity a warlock has a pact with is killed? The accepted answer is basically, no patron, no power. That makes sense from the standpoint of losing the ability to cast pact magic, as well as access to the various class abilities that were gained from the fiend patron, however, there are still three character levels that it's unclear what to do with. These levels were gained through adventuring, so what happens to them? Does the experience gain just evaporate? Does it transfer to the wizard levels? Obviously, the easy way out is, it's up to the DM. What I'm actually looking for is if there has ever been a precedent set for what happens when a character basically loses access to a class. For instance, 5e Oathbreaker Paladin shows what happens to a paladin that breaks their oath. I'm interested in finding any precedent set throughout the history of D&D that will help a DM decide how to handle this. What is the precedent for what happens to a warlock's character levels if their patron dies? A warlock is defined by a pact with an otherworldly being. Why would they think that killing the patron ends the pact? Sadly for your warlock, the obligation comes from the pact, not the patron. No doubt the dead patron has heirs and assignees who will explain this. That's assuming that the pact hasn't already been restructured into several CPOs collateralized pact obligations and on sold on the infernal markets which have recovered well since the multiverse financial crisis a few years back. Just an alternate thought.